Hello guys, my name is Tom Antos and in this video I'm going to show you a really exciting and really cool <laughs> camera lens test that I did using these three different Metabond speed boosters that I've got up here. If you don't know anything about these adapters, they're basically lens adapters, but they uh, not only do they allow you to put, uh, can, let's say, Canon EF glass, or there's also other versions for Nikon lenses and other lenses, and you can put them on a Micro Four Thirds camera, like uh, in this case I've been using it with the Blackmagic Packet Cinema 4K camera, uh, but you can put it on the GH4, GH5, uh, and, and other Micro Four Thirds cameras. So it will allow you to put those other lenses on those cameras, but it will also squeeze the image so that uh, you can turn your Micro Four Thirds uh, image or sensor basically into a sensor that becomes um, like a super 35 millimeter or you know APS-C size sensor or even a full frame sensor, depending on which version of this you get. So uh, anyway, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you guys all those exciting tests uh, coming up. All right, so now let's talk about the uh, different lens adapters or speed boosters. Um, I've got three here with me. They're all from Metabones. And the reason is because I've tried some of the other uh, companies like Viltrax and I uh, forget what the other one was, but anyways, they, they weren't good. So I'm not even gonna bother talking about them. Um, one of them had a problem like with, with the back focusing, like I, I could not, sometimes I could with certain lenses get infinity focus, some of them I couldn't. Anyways, they're not worth talking about. So these ones are three different ones, and the reason is because this one here in the center, that's my old uh, trusty Metabon Speed Booster that I've used with uh, GH4, GH5, and a whole bunch of other cameras uh, over the years, and it's the 0 0.71 uh, you know, X crop factor. Um, and so it's very similar to the new Ultra 0.71 X that I have up here, this is the latest version. To be honest, there's really no difference optically that at least that I could spot. I mean, if you're really p pixel peeping and shooting test charts, maybe then you'll notice it, but uh, they're both equally sharp and all that's done in that respect. And they, they all offer the same kind of, you know, when it comes to the distortions and the kind of characteristics that the, the, the look that they give you. Uh, what I notice the difference is really in that the newer one has some, I guess the newer, better firmware and it will work with more lenses when it comes to uh, autofocus or you know image stabilization that kind of stuff but since i'm usually working with cinema glass anyways i pretty much don't care so i'm just gonna kind of throw this out uh by that i mean i'm gonna carefully put it to the side <laughs> 
and I'm just going to concentrate on these two. So what's the difference between these two? Well, the one here that I've got is the Metabone Speed Booster XL, and that's the 0.64X, uh, you know, basically the, yeah, basically the, the crap factor, you could say. Uh, this one is the, the Ultra 0.71. Basically, they both work on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. Some of the other cameras you gotta be careful because, uh, I don't know if you can see up here, but basically this one, the 0 0.64, sticks out more uh, out of the back. So certain cameras that have actually an actual mirror uh, or that have the sensor really close, for example, to the mount, could actually end up being damaged. Um, with this, you know, the Pocket Cinema 4K uh, camera, you don't have to worry, they both will work on there. And you can use both of these. Now here's the difference, and that's kind of where some of the confusion I know was, and uh, in a previous video I did also, uh, I kind of posted one thing, or in, I wrote something in, incorrectly in, in the des description, uh, I had to correct it after, and also some people I think seem to be misinformed. And what I'm talking about is that people are saying that you can only use the Ultra 0.71 version, that the 0.64 is not gonna work on the Blackmagic Packet Cinema 4K camera, but the reality is that yes, it will work, both of them will work. It's just that this one effectively changes your micro four thirds image sensor and kind of make turns it into a um, super 35 millimeter. Uh, so like an APS-C size more or less uh, image sensor, actually slightly larger than that. This one is, uh, is effectively going to convert it to an almost the same thing as a, a full frame camera so what that means is that uh, if you like that full frame look and if you like and and you have full frame lenses then you can get this one and you're going to be very happy if you throw on there a lens that's not full frame like for example the sigma 18 to 35 uh, you can see the edges basically because that lens is not a full frame lens. So that's something to be aware of, is that you gotta make sure that if you're gonna get this one, you can only use it with full frame lenses, because again, it's you're turning it into a full frame camera. But it's gonna work, it's gonna work with full frame lenses. Now, if you have full frame lenses and AP, APS-C size, you know, or super 35 millimeter type of uh, lenses, then I would say, you know, get this version, the 0 0.71. Yeah, you won't get as wide field of view. It's, you know, and maybe it's gonna be a little bit harder to get, in some cases, shallower depth of field, but this is still plenty more than, you know, than, than really you're gonna need to get a cinematic image. It's, it creates the same kind of image look, you know, that you get with, you know, most of the films that were shot over the last hundred years, because most of them were shot with a, on cameras, different cameras and uh, some of them on film and stuff, but they were all shot with pretty much an image size sensor very close to this. So that's what I'm saying, just get this and you can definitely get cinematic images. If you like more of the full frame look and you get full frame lenses, then you can get this uh, XL 0.64 version of the Speed Booster. So that's really the, the only difference. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then if you learned something new, let me know uh, in the comment section below and, uh, and uh, you know, share some love by hitting that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like these, then head on over to my website at tomantosfilms.com uh, where you'll find this and a whole bunch of other, like I said, videos, tutorials, uh, articles, some free lots and, and other giveaways that I have there that you can download. Plus, uh, you can subscribe to my newsletter over there. This way you'll actually be notified when I, I do some cool, new, interesting things in the future. Uh, anyways, that's it. My name is Tom Antos, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.